Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we, are, we have a very erudite guest, like I said, Dr. Michael Oni, and he's talking to us about religion and nation building as we are celebrating our 64th birthday as, uh, as, a, democratic, um, as a democratic country, Abby. Yes. No, we've had democracy now for unbroken, unbroken. since 1999. Nine. Yes, Indeed. but we got our independence from the colonial masters yes. 64 years ago. So congratulations again, Nigeria. Let me read something to you, and then I expect you to tell me something if this is right. Because in as much as we want to point out the ills of how religion or religious bodies are not getting it right here, but we still recognize that we need to speak to how religion in itself can affect a change. Yes. So say, um, nation builders, religious people, must be able to exhibit characteristic skills and values that are important to the nation that they belong. So nation builders demonstrate, must demonstrate an eagerness and willingness to help other people. Yes. How can religion really provide the cornerstone, literally, that would help this country? It hurts me when I hear people say, uh, Nigeria is uh, hopeless, or this country, uh, my friend always says Nigeria is a cruise. I mean, name it. Some people say, oh, this country is finished and all that. But I love Nigeria. I really do. Every time I have to step out of this country, my country calls me back. I love being a Nigerian. But our love must be demonstrated. Yeah. And like I said earlier, Nigerians love God. Yes. More. <laughs> More. And the, the time people spend in religious activities. I mean, somebody takes time off work to go to the mountain, you know, or go fasting. What really can religion help? How can religion help Nigeria to occupy its right of place in the world? Thank you once again, Shinedu. Uh, Religion has a complex influence over individual lives mm -hmm. and over the society at large, as we have said. Uh, in spite of all the ills, noticeable ills mm -hmm. that we have seen with religion, for religion to play a vital role in nation building, the starting point is character formation yeah you are what you repeatedly do religious organizations should go back to the drawing board the people matters mm -hmm. they are the society if we we'll teach them the core values of humanity like be your brother's keeper be faithful, be loyal, patriotism. These are things that should be coming from religious centers mm -hmm. and not otherwise. Of course, in trying to address the needs of mankind, mm -hmm. religion tends to do into what we now call religious entrepreneurship, religious businesses. Mm -hmm. These businesses are not bad in themselves. Mm -hmm. it well, give, is, me an, give me an example of a religious enterprise or business that is not bad in itself. Setting up of higher institution by religious organizations. Okay. Okay. It's not bad in itself. As of today, we have 149 private universities in Nigeria. Wow. More than half of it are faith-based universities. That's not bad. But the abuse of that they taken away from the masses. When you hear criticism against faith-based institutions of tell me, learning, tell me, what's that? They talk about fees. Okay. The poor man out there talks about fees that is not affordable. Some of us went to missionary primary school. 
Missionary Secondary School. So the mis Catholic, mostly Catholic churches. The missionary came here, established schools for the poor. As yes, people like us was, were able to go to school, mm -hmm. if not probably would not have the basics, the elementary education. Yeah, I went to an Anglican uh, primary school, yeah. So, primary school so the allegation know. against the religious entrepreneurship today is the... The Pentecostals. Yeah, Pentecostals, thank you. You have the another name cost. for them. <laughs> you can't say it, right? <laughs> the cost. Taking this thing away from the masses. How do you explain where members of a denomination contributed to the formation, the establishment. Seed, seed offering. Yes, of an institution which they cannot benefit from. So, religion it, it, yes. how, how, how do you explain that? I mean, how do, because you're a pastor. Yes. Your past, pastoral circle, do you people point out some of this? We do. Injustice. Of course we do. But you are who you are. It's like people have always accused Christian Association of Nigeria can for not doing anything to stem these yes. vices. But come to think of it, can is not a disciplinary organization. Okay. It is a formation of Christian body to come together. We, you cannot go to a particular pastor with K now to beat him and say, why are you doing what you are doing? Somebody say, I am led of the spirit to be doing this. How do you correct? You can't monitor that spirit, eh? Because it's, saucy, it's spiritual. He it said he's led of the spirit to do what he's doing. And you, you want to correct him in the flesh. Hmm. So you will leave him. Or if it is something that can be subjected to disciplinary action, why do you do what you are doing? This is wrong of you to do. I mean... So if, if we're now led by the Spirit, the Spirit sets standard and the Spirit is unseen. Yes. That means everybody has a particular Spirit that will lead them to do certain things. Yes. And can, as an institution, cannot monitor another pastor's or church, church's Spirit. It's not, you can only checkmate pastors in your own denomination. You can't. Checkmate orders of other denominations. As yet, look at the Roman Catholic institution, for example. There is what a priest cannot do. Mm -hmm. The Anglican. These are body that is so organized that the spirit cannot move you contrary to. But in the Pentecostal circle, there's liberty, there's freedom. Our brothers in the Catholic movement, Anglican, Methodist, they are restricted. They have a code of ethics, ethics. That, that's binding on them. So, but now we even have more Pentecostalism going on. Yes. And they are the ones that immediately attractive to They're politicians. Pulling, crowd, pulling crowds. And all of that because yes. of the access to miracles yes. or supposed Yes. Miracles and, and all of that. So how can an organization that does not have code of conduct, conduct. per se establish a code of conduct that will be binding on Christianity as, as, a, as a movement? That's the problem. That's the problem. And should the government step into such areas as mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. the government in power will be seen as a persecutor who is trying to either convert us to his religion. Or, or, or there's, there's another selfish element. The government won't say anything because they know that in the next four years or so, they'll they come, for, come for votes. But remember one church that uh, fell somewhere and over how many people died? Yes. And top government officials went to visit this place and nothing came out of it because once the man says something spiritual was orbiting their space and the building collapsed and then that th is th the th connection th between politics and religion. And, and religion so nobody can tell each other the truth yes 
because we, uh, the relationship is symbiotic. We are benefiting from each other. Then what happened? Because the masses look up to the government to help. The church members look up to their pastors. I mean, <laughs> Daddy Gio, Daddy in the Lord. Uh, there's a funny one going on now where the Holy Spirit appeared to a particular church member yes. and, whisper, and gave the person all the answers, answers. In, a, in an exam. And it's interesting to know that um, the church, the can, is calling out the particular ministry. What is, how do you rubbish the name of God? Not only does uh, the Spirit give you expo, you also expose this expo to another sister in another denomination where their own spirits, exam, examination spirit could not come to give, oh, give expo. expo. And then people are saying, why should they do that? You know, why should can come in? Even in the case of the miracle water, they're yes. also saying that Khan has no right to supervise. No, Naftak has no right to supervise spiritual, spiritual products. Spiritual products. So, is, is, so what is the way forward? Because no Nigerian feels okay except to say, God bless you. The worst thing you can say to a Nigerian is God punish you. They take that really seriously. Yes. So what is the way forward? I think Khan, to my own knowledge, has impact or role to play in this regard. They may not be able to punish any denomination for hearing, mm -hmm. but they can call to order mm -hmm. that our SSCs are becoming too pronounced in the eye of the people. We are taking them for granted for too long. We say so many things, we make so many claims that ridicule our collectivity. So in, in countries where they, Nigeria is actually supposed to be a secular, secular state. Secular state. So yes. how did we become, have this so codependence, you know, with religion and all of that? How did we get here? And that could be a form of manipulation, the relationship between politicians and the church. Because when a sitting politicians identify openly with a religious organization that violate the spirit and letter of the constitution because as a secular state religion ought to be a private thing for any public officers but well, we see even presidential candidates go to kneel down and collect blessing from uh, geos and all this we're sort saying of people. the same thing as a secular state mm -hmm. Where you go to is none of our business. Mm -hmm. But to now make it a public thing, violate our constitution as a Nigeria. It's, it's not a religious state. It's a secular state. Religion is a private thing. But now that religion is now in public glare, occupying spaces. Now if you are vying for office now, mm -hmm. your religion matters. Yes, yes. We are only going to vote for you if you are from us. Your acceptability depends, depends on, on on religion. Religion. So you can see the role religion is not playing. So that you will see a candidate carrying Bible up and down in an election year, mm -hmm. visiting everybody everywhere to identify that we are one. But in the actual sense, we are not. But in order to canvass for vote, because religion is cheap, you can easily get to the people. It's, it's, it's amazing. Now, this um, to build a nation, you find that a lot of people are going through poverty, homelessness, and things like that. And typically, all religions preach love. I've not seen one that does not preach love. No. Whether you're Buddhist, Hindu, Islam, Christian. All religions. Um, Ifa, you know, traditional worshiper is love. We see a lot of young people or people being displaced. The, the economic situation is, is tough. Yes. It's, it's like hell. Yeah. But you find churches building uh, houses for God 
in the billions now, you know, somebody is building a church for 10 billion, 20 billion. Meanwhile, the church members are going to come. Some of them have nowhere to, to stay. I remember clearly, you'll correct me if I'm wrong, a place in the Bible where God says, you, who, are you, who is man to build a house to contain my spirit? Yes. But the Bible quickly tells us again that we, and man, we are the temple of God. So should these churches not support in building up man, getting man a place to stay, providing education, healthcare? Because people are really giving more to churches than they're giving to the government. That one is because they collect tithes, offerings, first fruits, and anything you have, the church wants, religious experts want it. I'm even saying this clearly because even in the Bible, Jesus had issues with religious experts, oh, the Pharisees and all that. So he had that. So I'm saying, are they reading a different Bible? This part where God was very explicit, you cannot build a house to contain my spirit. You are God. You contain my spirit. So why are the churches not supporting that? Because really, I don't, I'm not sure the government can handle taking care of everybody. Yes. And since we do both God and uh, religion, why are the religious bodies not? I'm happy you mentioned that uh, the Catholics, because the Catholics have actually built schools, hospitals that are still here. But these churches are, collect are the real collectors. So what is happening? Are we missing something? Yes, we are actually missing a lot, not just something. <laughs> uh, as you pointed out, when you look at the Roman Catholic institution, we may have to understand during the pandemic that the Roman Catholic institution came out to publicly announce that there are 425 hospitals will be used for isolation centers. Now, look at that figure. 425 hospitals. Some of these hospitals have been in existence over 100 years. Wow. Sacred Art, Land to Rabekuta, 1895. Amazing. Baptist Academy, 1855. CMS, 1858. Look at their contribution to nation building. The schools, the healthcare facilities, but the accusation is not blanket on all the religion, mm -hmm. but probably a sort sect of Christianity, the Pentecostals. Yes, Pentecostalism. Yeah. It is because of lack of leadership, the voice of leadership. Not that some of these Pentecostals are not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Some in their own little corners. Are they doing enough? It, it, it may not be. given. Much is given. Much is expected. Now, the, the, the issue is this. You will see smaller, smaller denominations in their own corner giving little, little things to support the needy. But the focus is on the bigger brothers, the bigger denominations, who, as you have alleged, are involved in extraordinary construction work. Yes. And... You can have all this project and still be engaged in attending to mundane things of welfare. So there is now a detachment from, from, from the list of these that were pointed out by God. Anyway, um, we'll take a short break and when we come back, let us cut our celebratory cake. I want, I want us to end on a happy note so that um, you give us some kind words for the country moving forward. So my very good friend, Temida Yoshinubi, all things nice, sent us a cake to mark Nigeria's 64th birthday. It's a really sweet one. So she wants us to, That's very nice. to uh, have a very, very sweet moment celebrating Nigeria. So when we come back, we will cut our cake and then take our last moments. See you after the break.